Hello everyone, I'm Anthony Gallegos alongside uh, Marty Sleva. Hey guys. And so we are here to talk about Monaco. What's yours is mine. What's yours is mine. But most commonly, everyone I've known ever just calls it Monaco. Yeah. And uh, in case you didn't know, this is a game that's been at GDCs and, and PAXs. Oh my gosh, it's uh, been at PAX years. for like years. Yeah. yeah. Um, finally coming out uh, Wednesday in about a week. So um, yeah, we're going to start off uh, on the second level. Start off, uh, so this is a multiplayer game. You can play four players, uh, local or online. It's a really fun local, but uh, we're just going to try out one, uh, one character right now. So, so uh, It's funny when you see it, too, because it has almost like a graphical style. Uh, at least it did for a long time. It has improved, but it, this like the way these character models look and stuff, it's like such old Atari. Oh, absolutely. No, the game, uh, even the gameplay is really reminiscent of uh, like a couple of NES games of the 8-bit era. Um, so we have a story here. Uh, the story is actually pretty cool. Um, it's a heist. It's a heist, yeah. And the characters are kind of archetypes that you can find their analogs through. I mean, they're even called archetypes. Yeah, names, yeah. Right. But they're like, you know, the, uh, you know, the, they really resemble characters in movies like Reservoir Dogs and, and Ocean's Eleven and Usual Suspects. Uh, yeah. So the story is uh, these four guys break out of prison and they have to find uh, find a way to get out of Monaco. Okay. Yeah. And so and each of the four characters that you can play as, they you can play as like seven. By the end of the game, you, oh, you wow. continually get different characters, and they all uh, have different special, the like sort of specials. Yep. Each character has a different special. So you have the locksman who can open up locks really quickly. Uh, who am I right now? Uh, so my character has the ability when he's sneaking, he can see where enemies are. So you can see in the uh, upper right hand corner, there's a fist. And that's because uh, so he can see where the enemy is. Uh, so yeah, the kind of the hook of this game is that. Uh, I mean, everything I is based you, on vision. I was going to say, and you kind of handle the situation how you want to. Yeah, absolutely. And based off of your character special yes. abilities. Um, and so, yeah, all the levels uh, have these coins scattered about. If you collect all the coins, you unlock a second campaign, which is uh, super rad. Um, is, is this sort of one of those games, though, too, when you get caught? I mean, it's really easy to get killed. Like, it's super easy. Yeah, but it's not. This is not a. Uh, see, uh, there's no matter what I do here, I'm right. going to alert this guy because the bird's going to go out. But right. I have a shotgun, so you pretty much just have to handle it like that <laughs> so uh, when you play the game violently it does kind of turn into like Hotline Miami I mean a much more kind of cartoony version of Hotline sure. Miami uh, but yeah the game is certainly I mean the way I've been playing it I'm almost done with a single player but uh, the way I've been playing it has not been oh man I messed up I have to restart it's like well no just deal with Roll the situation with it, yeah. yeah I mean it'd be nice if I had a purely stealth uh, playthrough but yeah usually that doesn't happen sure but one of the best part about any heist movie is when things go bad oh, and, absolutely. They, and they have to yeah if things go well it. so s this guy spotted me Oh I'm no. just going to kind of run away. And then I realize that I'm... Yeah, usually you can kind of just trick them, hopefully. I like that even something as simple, like, that they take the time to point out, like, birds taking flight and squawking is yeah, something yeah. they actually and, alert uh, guys. Yeah, it's like Metal Gear, where you see the little uh, question marks appear above their head, and, you know, at white, they're just curious, and at... Red. At red, they are pissed off, so... I'm not going to handle that very stealthily. Oh my gosh! I love. The, oh, it's also really funny that they just turn into skeletons right away. <laughs> it doesn't do any of the gore or nope. anything like that. There's no real dead body. They're just immediately a skeleton. And they're, uh, you know, they are kind of dumb. Like they'll see the skeleton and just kind of be like, oh, whatever. Like, buddy's sure. down on the ground. And um, so your footsteps are making sound too. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the footsteps are uh, leaving a trail behind me. Whereas if I'm walking, uh -huh. there is no trail. Right. But obviously, you're doing things very slowly. So you see, it takes time to open doors. If I was the locksman, uh, or the locksmith, I would have opened them immediately. When you've played this multiplayer, how has it changed for you? It becomes much more hectic. And it is, uh, so each of these, you saw I grabbed a shotgun. So each shell costs 10 coins. Uh -huh. And so when there's, uh, you know, I was playing with uh, fellow IGN or Mitch Dyer yesterday, and it kind of became competitive to the point where we each wanted those. And there's only a finite number of coins in a level. And so we would kind of try to screw each other over, despite the fact that we still have the same goal in the sure, end. Sure, sure, sure. But it's fun to, like, maybe potentially get someone caught and force them to deal with it. No, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, we would use each other as bait. And, like, well, if, if all the cops are after him, that means I can run to the staircase and quickly get out of the area. So you get caught, you get shot, and you die. Yes. Is it just that you restart the room? Uh, or? Yes, yeah, so I'll show you. Uh, you have uh, – let me – I'll make it to the next floor, and then I'll die. Um yeah, so ostensibly each level boils down to there's usually three or four floors or, mm -hmm. or you know, uh, parts of the level, and uh, usually at the top or the bottom is, you know, three items you need to grab or an exit. So if it's a boat, you need to get off the boat. If it's a museum, you have to find the three things you need to you need to steal. Uh, right here, this character is the mole. That's who I okay, became. So he can dig. As you can probably tell, he can dig through things. Uh, so this whole, this whole, if you're reading the story beforehand, the whole uh, this level is about finding 
uh, a buddy of uh, one of the thieves named the Mole who's going to help them escape Monica. Okay. Oh, no, and and now we unlock the Mole. There are rankings. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll see another character. There's this guy. Um, yeah, the story is surprisingly cool, honestly. Uh, well, it's funny that <laughs> you'd say that too, considering like a lot of it's told from like these like ridiculously simple. I mean, absolutely, text and like, walls. but but by the end of it, like you really associate these characters. You see the small actions they're doing. How this guy on the right is kind of like bouncing a tennis ball up and down. Right. Like it really does. Uh, well, I guess he's not bouncing a tennis ball. He's smoking and ashing. Uh, but it they does re- look like he's bouncing a tennis yes. ball. Yes. <laughs> 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 the mole's obsessed with uh, digging. But yeah, the story. Uh, it like honestly it has really interesting twists and like i said movies like the usual suspects and like reservoir dogs like it pulls from them but in a really interesting way um and a cool thing with the campaign is so you have two campaigns you have the uh locksmiths campaign and then you have the pickpockets campaign and you play through the locksmiths and then afterwards you play through the pickpockets and he has already been captured you've already been captured by the police and he's pretty much telling them no everything he told you before was a lie this is not how the mission went down. Let me tell you how it went and down. And so it's like the mission's changed. The mission is completely okay. changed. Either That's the layout's cool. different, the the uh, the objective's different. Like a mission that was once relatively peaceful just becomes a complete, you know, hell on earth battle. It's such a weird sort of pixel art style that they do. Like even the waterfalls, the way that they actually make it, yeah, like I, it's actual flowing. But no, it's so I, simple. I, I completely agree. And they do a smart thing where. Uh, you know, once you've been in a room, uh, its layout is present to you. Or once you've looked inside of a room, sure. its layout still exists, but you don't really know where the enemies are in that room. Um, yeah, and like I said, so imagine this. If it's four-player, it's obviously four players on the same screen. Uh, you don't leave the level, or you don't leave a floor until everyone has left that floor. Right. Um, and so it becomes, it becomes really chaotic. I mean, it was fun. Uh, I feel like a really, you know, a, a well-oiled team talking together are going to be able to make some wild speed runs through this game. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's going to be something that people look forward to on, you know, YouTube and whatnot. Also, the fact that there are, there are leaderboards yes, for it. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, you know, like, but like I said, just Mitch and I just kind of goofing around, and, you know, he hadn't played the game really that much yet. You know, we were just having a blast just, you know, running through it, and I feel like couch co-op has become a... Uh, kind of endangered species in gaming so it's true i mean uh even when i was thinking about it i was like can i play this online but i don't know that i would necessarily do you want to yeah do you want to play this with strangers are you really gonna you know? sure i mean this definitely seems like the type of thing where it's more like new super mario brothers obviously the gameplay is yep. very different but in the same sense that you guys are going to laugh and you know yeah yeah talk crap to one another as you kind of intentionally screw each other Absolutely. over or maybe set off an alarm and just to see how everyone Yeah, responds. just to see well can everyone handle this. Yeah, yeah. I think and that's I think both games are really evocative of kind of that, you know, old uh, late 80s early 90s uh, style of gameplay where it was usually, you know, if you were playing multiplayer it was people gathered around a single TV. Do you think uh like does the gameplay from your experience kind of change between the levels? I mean, yeah, I know you said that it involves going between multiple floors, but you know, as a disabling a security system on one level might kind of feel different versus it, uh, it honestly the levels do feel different there's certain there's a level that takes place inside of a nightclub where it is just you know people everywhere and guards everywhere and so you have to continually try to find closets and grab disguises <laughs> so that you can just blend in and so you know the Russians there who are obviously looking for you will just you know walk right past you assuming that you are a Oof. you know oh, you know. barely got out of there so that's one of the things too that's kind of the gamey aspect of it is uh no matter how many guys are chasing you if you change floors you kind of get a clean slate sure yeah i mean i i don't think anyone watching this so far has thought that they totally take themselves it's seriously <laughs> <laughs> yeah the game's super oh wow you're supposed to grab the coins on either side of him yeah so oh and that's the other thing too though is uh it's very much vision based so you see the flashlight above him right and as long as i'm walking I can hang out right uh-huh. next to him. He will not. Uh, okay, okay. There's also uh, there's a character called the... Uh, oh, is it, wait, is that me? Oh, yeah, it is me. Uh, so my special ability is uh, I have the ability to knock guards out as okay. long as they're not looking at me. Yeah, this is the smoking man. Yeah. And so, yeah, usually at a certain point, uh, I'm being careful <laughs> until... Uh, this like jazzy piano music too. It's great. Yeah, the yeah. music's by uh, Austin Wintory, who was nominated uh, for a Grammy. He did the uh, score for uh, Journey. Journey, which yeah. this is you know the complete opposite of that, but uh, that kind of just shows his talent in his range. Yeah, I mean, I would I I wouldn't even know this was Austin Wintory unless you told me. No, so. it's it's yeah, it's kind of mind blowing actually. You got the trophy. Now you gotta got to get the back. trophy. Now you just kind of gotta get out. Usually uh, at that point, like 
You can kind of just cause a ruckus and run out. <laughs> I really don't know where I'm going, though. It's a little bit like Pac-Man at it the is. moment. <laughs> oh, no. It's fine. So I have smoke bombs. That's uh, my weapon. Uh, throughout the game, you get uh, smoke bombs, you get shotguns, you get uh, arrows that put people to sleep, um, C4. And you can kind of, later levels, you uh, you can end up at pretty much at the beginning of the level, you can choose which, which one weapon you want to go in with. So if you want to, you know, have a kind of I want to murder everyone in the level. Kind of like picking a mask in Hotline Miami. Exactly. Hmm, strange. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say, I mean, this game has been in development long enough to where I think similarities are... Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't, I'm not accusing you yeah, certainly yeah. of that. I'm just saying that when I, the, the way I hear everyone talking about this and playing it, you know, even though they are wildly different games, like I could see this this year being one of those games. It's like Hotline Miami Absolutely. that everyone's talking about. Like yes, you have yes. to play it. Absolutely. And so. it being uh, one of those things where you'll keep wanting to replay levels in order to sort of perfect a run and learn the maps and, and learn the layouts of the enemies. Oh, cool. well, like I said, surprisingly, this, the story is honestly cool. Like, I don't want to give away things, but... Uh, it has cool twists and it has uh, interesting kind of takes on uh, what four players can do in a so, game. So we're going to review it for April twenty fourth. April twenty fourth, yes, Wednesday. So, so uh, I guess yeah, it's, it's going to be out uh, on 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 Steam and on uh, three sixty. And without spoiling anything, oh my we God. like it. Yeah. So yeah, look <laughs> yeah. forward to more of that coming next week, April twenty fourth, right here on IGN. Uh,